of this, huh? How long have I been wanting to get in one of these? It's a tank. What we have here is an army soldier here, and he's got his uh, Kevlar helmet on. He's got his bulletproof vest with his camo back and water hose. And then he's got these pouches. He's got magazines, grenade pouches, and general purpose pouches all over him. And what he has here is an M4 assault weapon. There's usually an IR a laser sight up here also. It can be seen if we put the NVGs on the helmet and flip it down to dark so we can really wreck some havoc. He's got a 30 round magazine of 5.56 millimeter hardball ammo in there. And this will reach out to about 500 meters, this weapon, as small as it is. Listen up, people. Rack him and pack him. We're Phantoms in 15. But here he has a squad automatic weapon, the M249, with a 200 round belt in this box right here that feeds in there, and he can put some serious steel on target with this little baby. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man will not stand a chance against him. Pull up. We have 36 people on set today. All are prior service or current service, military, Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard. When we ask you guys to move, or these are people that have done it before, so I just tell them what to do, where to go, and how to do it, and it happens. Wait for us! Wait for us! We'll be right behind you! How many people got a flash gun? Raise your hand. With regular extras, it doesn't always happen that way because they're ignorant to the situation. We often have to sit down and explain to them step by step by step. We save quite a bit of money in all actuality because they can get a lot more shots in a smaller time frame than they would if they were using normal extras. Being in front of all the tanks and the people shooting guns off, I don't know, that's like what making a movie is to me.